Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Today we are going to be doing a very interesting video by playing every single Call of Duty game in one video. Now this is referring obviously just to the multiplayer. Oh my god, where am I getting shot from? I don't even know. Let me just throw a little flash, give myself some cover. But yeah, I decided to do this ever since the recent Xbox servers were fixed, of course. I felt like I just I had to do this. Oh god. Oh! 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 Of course, I'm not sure if you all have heard about it, but if you haven't, yes, the Xbox servers for the old Call of Duty games have all been fixed, and you can actually get pretty easy lobbies for all of the older Call of Duties, finally. And so you might be wondering, like, well, why am I not playing COD 4? Why am I playing Modern Warfare Remastered? Well, to be honest, there's a couple reasons. First of all, I just much prefer this over COD 4. I think it's just a lot better. And my COD 4 disc is just not working very well. <laughs> so I, I said, screw it. Instead of COD 4, we're just going to go to straight to Modern Warfare Remastered. Obviously, after this, we'll go to World of War and all those other old Call of Duties, but... We're gonna have to just play this for now. Like I said, it's really no big deal. When this game released, it basically just replaced... Oh, God. Damn. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. When this game came out, it basically replaced COD 4 for me. Like, I had no reason to ever go back to COD 4, because like I said, this game is literally just COD 4, but with more content, better graphics, just it's a lot smoother, obviously. Like, there's no reason to play COD 4 now, which is why I've really wanted to see more remasters for other Call of Duty games. But we're probably never going to get those, it sounds like. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Woo! Watch this, watch this. Damn! <laughs> I thought I was going to pull something off there, but I didn't. This is something I used to do all the time, but like I said, because the servers have been broken for so many years, it's kind of something I just had to stop doing, and it really sucked because I wanted to keep doing it again. It was just such a fun thing to do. I'm going to be honest, COD 4 was always my favorite Modern Warfare game, which surprises a lot of people because obviously... Can this guy fucking move? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, damn. Got him through the wall. Obviously, everyone's always talking about Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. I mean, nobody's really talking too much about the new Modern Warfares, but... I don't know. I just always preferred COD 4. I just thought it had better gameplay balance, better gameplay flow. Whoa. It's definitely a lot simpler than the other Modern Warfare games. A lot more bare bones, but, like, I don't think that's a bad thing completely. I will say, though, the remastered version of this obviously makes it a lot better than it would be otherwise. Nice. Let's call that airstrike. Damn, dude, really? <laughs> Come on. Give me that. Nice. Call that in. Get to cover. Holy shit! No! Oh! Come on! Nice. Let's get at least one dude with the airstrike. Come on. Nice. Airstrike has to get somebody, right? There we go. And there's the helicopter. Whoa! Holy shit. Pick up his AK. I always love this AK. I mean, it sucks that there's barely any attachments in this game, but somehow I don't really care. <laughs> like I said, it's a bare bones game, but I think it worked in Remastered because you had all those camos to grind for, and I know people hated supply drops, but you know, I didn't mind them in this game. They weren't the worst thing ever. Nice. We gotta be on a 10 kill streak, right? Maybe more than that? Oh, it tells us we're on a four 14 kill streak? Wow. We're on a 16. I didn't know the helicopter counts. Oh, come <laughs> I hate grenades in this game so much. <laughs> it's a great Call of Duty other than the damn grenades, man. I just, I fucking hate them. Like, you got the grenades times three and martyrdom is just, ugh. All right, we're now into World at War, which I'm not looking forward to at all. Because <laughs> this is the oldest Call of Duty. Um, obviously not counting COD 4 because we're obviously playing remastered, but this is the oldest Call of Duty that I still currently play at all. 
and I mean, it's 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 interesting. It really hasn't aged quite well, I'll be honest. I think this is one of the, the worst aging Call of Duties ever. Obviously, the servers being fixed was nice. We get lobbies easier in this game and everything, but it doesn't change the fact that the game is a broken mess, at least in my opinion. I know a lot of people love this game. I, I have nostalgia for it, of course, but that doesn't change the fact that it is so broken. Yeah, this MP40 is one of the most broken guns ever. And I hate those tanks, man. <laughs> I despise the tanks in this game. They're not on every map, obviously, but the maps that they are on, it's it's not fun. Okay, there's hella guys over here, but I'm kind of... Yeah, they're going to snipe me. I'm not, I'm not messing with that. Nope. Whoa! Oh, STG, that's nice. Nice. Let's get him. Damn! I don't want to peek anymore. <laughs> They're going to fuck me up if I peek. Maybe not. Are they all? Oh, the game ended. Okay, never mind. <laughs> nice. Someone just saved my ass. Whoa. Damn, dude, they were surrounding me. Holy shit. Let's just drop this anywhere. But yeah, I've said this multiple times. Like, I don't know. This just isn't one of my favorite Call of Duties. Like, it's actually one of my least favorite. And I've I've mentioned that so many times. Everyone thinks I'm crazy when I say it. But I don't know. I've just never been a fan of it. Even back when it was, you know, the newest Call, Call of Duty. I, I had a fun time with zombies. Like, I played the shit out of zombies. Like, I don't know. This multiplayer was just, just never grabbed me. I always preferred COD 4. I always preferred Modern Warfare 2. And honestly, most Call of Duties, even that's come out after, I've still preferred most of them. It's, dare I say, it's one of my least favorite Call of Duties. Obviously, it's important to keep in mind that, like, it's a pretty old COD. So, like, a lot of my issues with it, you know, would be fixed with a remaster, basically. But I just, not a crazy about this game. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. The visibility is terrible, too. I, I could go on and on about my problems with this game. <laughs> The visibility is some of the worst in the franchise, though. And the worst thing about the game, the without a doubt, which you, well, you just saw that right there is the hit detection. Holy shit. <laughs> you could say it was bad aim, but honestly, bro, I think it's just a lot of times it's hit detection. Because I've, I've slowed down clips from this game before where it's like very obvious that bullet hit and it just doesn't give you the hit marker. Sometimes it's like delayed too, like the hit marker is delayed, so you'll die even though like your bullets landed pretty well on the guy. I mean, that was an issue with most of these older CODs, but you know, it's like I said, it's just, it's just an older game. It's harder for me to enjoy it. Back then I did not give a flying fuck about hit detection. <laughs> I just wanted to shoot some fun World War II guns and just, you know, run around a map. Like that's all I want, that's all I cared about back in the day. So of course none of this mattered. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on Modern Warfare 2 playing arguably one of the worst maps ever. <laughs> I don't like this map. I just never have. I'll be honest. Part of the reason is everyone using noob tubes. There's a lot of stuff about this game that I don't like. And, you know, I, I have more nostalgia for it than anything, I would say. Like, my enjoyment of this game is mostly the nostalgia. Because, yeah, I played this game a lot when it was in its prime. Everyone their mother's using noob tubes. Hell, I'm, I might even do it myself. Fuck it, let's do it. I'm gonna run that noob tube class. <laughs> See, noob tubes are just too fucking easy, man. Just look at that. Look at that. Boop. Oh, that one actually didn't get a kill, surprisingly. And then you just use the one-man army. <laughs> you just do that. <laughs> it's too easy. You're obviously not invincible. You're still very able to die, but it's just a lot harder to die. Whoa. Nice. See what I'm telling you? You can just go from a distance and just pop people from, from the distance. And it's pretty easy. But you also got people sniping, which is a lot harder to go up against. Now, if I go in these bushes... And I just go like this. <laughs> it's too easy. <laughs> I wonder how easy it would be to get uh, domination lobbies. This just straight up should not be a thing, though. Like, noob tubes should just not be a thing in this game. <laughs> Come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy shit. This is a, this map is literally the noob tube map, though. Like, if you're not using noob tubes on this map, you're doing something wrong. If we get a better map, trust me, I'm not going to use this. I literally only use this on the bad maps because they're somehow really good on the bad maps. I 
I gotta get to fucking cover. Call this in, but what do I call it in on B? Sure. Whoa, why is it killing me? I put it on B, don't kill me. Holy shit. No. He had painkiller, that scared the hell out of me. Why are they all coming this way? Oh, that was a friendly. I thought that was an enemy. Oh, chopper. All right, we gotta find a place to call this in now. Let's go, boys. Let's get this nuke. It's probably not gonna happen, but we'll try our best. This is not really a nuke map, if I'm gonna be honest. Are they hiding inside? No, don't do this to me. Where is everyone? Come on. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. This is not a good nuke map, I'll be honest. Whoa. This is a really bad nuke map. I'm definitely on like a 15 or 16 kill streak at least. Oh, <laughs> and that's how I die. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we're on to Black Ops 1, which this is definitely the first Call of Duty where I really started to love the franchise. It wasn't just about, you know, enjoying the games with the fr friends from time to time, but this is when I started actually getting like really involved in it and really loving the multiplayer, the zombies, everything. I decided to hop into Domination though, because I realized, wait a minute, is is there is this, there a hacker going on here? Cause I keep hearing bombs dropping and I don't think that many bombs can drop on a map at once. There might be a hacker, I don't know. I think you are more likely to run into hackers in Domination just cause it's a lower player pool than NTDM. Yeah, you see that? You see what I'm looking at right now? Is that an enemy thing or, yeah, that is an enemy. Yeah, the dude's, 24 and 8. Well, he's still dying a bunch. Yeah, I can't even walk out there. All right, I don't want to play in this lobby anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to play TDM. Fuck it. Nice. Yeah, this game is so much more fast-paced than any of those other Modern Warfare games. Oh, God. Nice. Yeah, the pacing all around is just so much better here. Fuck! Come on, man! Oh, okay. That grenade got a random kill. Nice. Give me that glil. It would be nice if it had a suppressor on it, but you can't get everything you want. Nice call that shit in. Oh. Bro, this place is getting shot up right now. Ah! <laughs> Please stop it! Oh, oh! <laughs> I don't even care because I got my streaks. <laughs> that was terrifying, though. Oh, don't you dare shoot me down, you asshole! No one shoot me down, please. I honestly wouldn't mind if any sort of things to shoot down streaks were just taken out of Call of Duty. I really wouldn't care. Nice. All right. 25 and 4. That was pretty solid. Honestly, this is so strange to be playing Domination on Modern Warfare 3. I can't remember the last time I played Domination on Modern Warfare 3. Because this is the Call of Duty with the worst server issues, which it probably... It was probably the only one that I could legitimately never find a lobby for for the past couple years. All the others, it was like kind of hit or miss, depends on the day. But I mean, the server fixes, I think, helped this one more than any other COD. We're using MP7 again because, I mean, I literally played that last match for like two minutes. It ended pretty fast. I don't want it to use this again. Oh, this just feels so good to play this game again. Certainly not one of my favorite Call of Duties. Not at all. But I mean, I still miss it. You know, I want to play it again. And I haven't in a long time because of all those issues. 
when I did play Team Deathmatch, there were really bad connection issues, but it could have just been my Wi-Fi or maybe it was just TDM, I don't know. But so far, this has been really smooth. Nice. Oh, they're still back here. Whoa, fuck you. Honestly, there's so many Call of Duties. I think I would like so much more if the time to kill wasn't so fast. Come on, come around that corner. Come on. No? They're going to start spawning back there. I knew it. Dude, this map's kind of shit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've never liked this map. Friendly Moab. Friendly Moab. Who the fuck got a Moab? All right, cool. I ain't complaining. Holy shit! So many bullets! Oh, no! Alright, we got some guys over here. Some guy's gonna come running around this side. Knew it. Call this in, hit the deck. Get ready for more guys to be running. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know how I got that kill, but okay. This has got to be one of the most frustrating Call of Duty, so I'm not going to lie. It just kind of is. Something about the gameplay is just really frustrating. If I can flank him. This will be perfect. Oh, no. He knows I'm here now. Does he actually? Does he? Nice. Attack helicopter. Let's call that bad boy in. Oh, the kick on that gun was insane. What the hell was that? Alright, I just want to play Black Ops 2. Fuck this game. <laughs> Man, it feels so good to be back on Black Ops 2. I have not played this game in quite some time. But I mean, this, this has always been one of my favorite Call of Duties. And I think it's held up pretty decently. It's just, there's a ton of hackers in this game, which is the only unfortunate thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> As I mentioned hackers, yep, okay. It's a hacked lobby, great. Real fun, real fun, real fun. Let me go secure C, whoa. Getting inside the enemy's building is the best thing you could do on this map. I'm so screwed. No. Whoa. 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 Hot take, but I don't think Hijack's that great of a map. I like it. It's a good, it's a solid map. I just, I just don't think it's like one of the best in COD history like a lot of people think it is. God damn! Alright, we got an AGR. I'm gonna throw it out there. Hope for the best. Nice. Whoa! Oh, come on! <laughs> I was camping my ass off in that house, too. 
All right, now we're playing one of the worst Call of Duties of all time, in my opinion, and that is, of course, Call of Duty Ghosts. I just, I never liked this game. I mean, okay, that's not true, actually. When it was first out, I did kind of enjoy it, but I, I mean, it didn't take too long for me to realize that it's just not very well designed. The maps were bad, the time to kill is too fast, there's a lot of weird new systems that I just wasn't crazy about, but I do think there's a lot of promising things about the game that do make it a lot better than it would be otherwise. Oh god, holy shit, there was three dudes over there. I like. I really like the perk system, actually. I think the DLC maps are really fun, and we're actually playing on one of those right now. I think this is one of the coolest maps in COD history. Some of the camping in this game was just so ridiculous, though. People sitting around with equipment like 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 that over there. I would love to get the Michael Myers thing, though, because, of course, if you get that field order and you do it and you have a chance of getting to play as Michael Myers, No! Oh, the freaking briefcase was right there! Calling that guard dog. Guard dog's a very nice streak to have in this game, because he kind of just protects your back. So unfortunately, we go from playing one of the best maps in the game to, without a doubt, one of the worst maps in the game, which is just not a good thing. <laughs> Damn, time to kill is so fucking fast. Oh, that guy doesn't want to die, though, for some reason. Oh, boy. Oh, this shit sucks. I'm not playing it. I'm just not playing this map. It's just fucking boring as hell. Oh, shit. Did not expect to be playing on Favela again. I'm playing on a Favela earlier today in MW2. Oh, come on. Place that SATCOM down. Oh, we're almost out of ammo. That's not good. Oh my god, that guy has no ammo. Are you kidding me? I need to find a gun. Oh, there we go. Attack fucking... What the hell is this? Nice. What did he have? Oh, he had the same freaking shotgun. Are you kidding me? No! Are you kidding me? That sucks. We should have been running Scavenger. I don't know why I'm not running Scavenger. Oh, God. Nice. Whoa. Let me pick up a gun early just so I have it. Nice. Come on, jump out the fucking window, you piece of shit. <laughs> Why can't I jump out the window? Nice. Oh, you piece of shit. That guy was camping up there. Man, I hate this game. <laughs> what is it with people and camping, man? That's all they do. All right, we are on to... Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Not too sure what to expect out of this, honestly. I don't know how this game's gonna play today. But I always kind of enjoyed this game a bit. Like, I think it's a very underrated multiplayer. I just don't like the zombies or the campaign that much. But, you know, the multiplayer side of this game, it's pretty, it's decent. It's not the best multiplayer. It's certainly just decent, I guess, is the best word for it. It's certainly the worst advanced movement COD. I think Infinite Warfare and Black Ops are miles better than this, but... I mean, this is okay. Dude, supply drops are so freaking common now. I feel like I get them like every two seconds in the game now. They probably just updated that just because why the hell not? Oh, damn! Nice. What? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? He killed me with that stupid fucking sniper. Is someone going to call in a UAV or something? Because what the hell?
Bro, more people gotta join this damn lobby already. Why is no one joining? He stole my fucking kill. I got an assault drone against two people on the other team. Two people, what the hell is it gonna do? Gonna get maybe one kill at most. Come on, where are you guys at? It's calling the Paladin. <laughs> this is the stupidest lobby I've ever been in before. Where is this guy at? Come on. Or two of the guys. I don't even see him. I have no idea where they are. Well, we won the game easily, but like, come on. I'm gonna use the STG-44, this is a supply drop gun, I remember getting this and being so damn happy. There's a lot of cool guns in this game, actually. This gun is great. This map's really good, too. This is probably one of the better maps in the game. Nice, nice. Look at this. Look at this. Wait, what? He fucking teleported forward. Oh god, this guy right over here. I was around the- I hate when you die around the corner. That's like the worst feeling in Call of Duty. No, 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 no. I don't know how I'm alive. I think it's the reddest I've ever been in Call of Duty. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, are you shitting me? Oh, I should have knifed his ass. I honestly might switch to the speakeasy just to use it for a little bit, just to have... Just to have some fun with it, because, you know, obviously it's probably one of the better guns in the game. Some would say the, the best gun. Bet they're using the XMGs. Yeah, being in a window sometimes is not the best, not the best look. People just spam that window with bullets, you're gonna die. Oh my god, what the fuck? The lagging, man. Giving some of these guys advantages. Whoa! Yeah, I should have known there was a guy around the corner. I don't know why I didn't think about that. God, I see that sentry turret. No! Nice. Calling that system hack. Oh, the game's gonna end anyways. Shit. <laughs> I was getting all excited. To get my little system hack and everything, and the game's about to end. That's unfortunate. All right, well, that was kind of fun. I had a good time on Advanced Warfare today. This was, this was a decent game. Detroit, obviously, being a really solid map, made it a lot more fun. All right, now we're on probably my favorite Call of Duty of all time, especially when you take into account the whole game, not just not just the multiplayer. It's obviously the zombies is fantastic. Now the campaign is a different story, but we don't talk about that. Whoa, it's just the movement and the time to kill. Like everything is just so perfect in this multiplayer. I think the only issue I have with the entire experience. I think this is probably most people's issue, would be the supply drop system. It was obviously not very fair. And then you had specialists, which uh, they just they just didn't work. I don't know. I didn't hate them, but like, I just felt like uh, there was just too many free kills you can get with them, you know? If I ever died on a streak against a specialist, it was like the most annoying thing in the world. Because you know there's really nothing you could have done about it. Whoa! I knew they were gonna come around that way. Whoa! Oh, you gotta be shitting me! <laughs> That's basically a specialist weapon. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the first Call of Duty game to have TDM go up to 100 kills instead of 75, which I thought was an amazing change. Oh, shiza!
That's what I'm talking about. That was a nice little play right there. I knew exactly where they'd be going. Whoa! Holy shit, man. I'm so dead. Shit! Nice. Damn it! Oh, we were one off the wraps, but whatever. I got a, uh, what do you call that? Advanced UAV, VSAT, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm just going to grind some kills while I can. Probably should have waited to call it in, but whatever. Nice. Started pre-firing pre there. Let's call that in. We're doing pretty good right now. Yeah, I knew we were going to switch spawns. Oh god, there was a guy right down there. Where was he? Nice. Call this in, nice. 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 Oh, this game is so good. Oh, damn it. I ran out of ammo, man. Okay, let's call in the wraps. 20 and two right now. This is pretty, this is a pretty good game. Pretty solid. I'm just gonna go up here. We're playing on an awful map right now, too, so this is probably one of the worst maps in this game. Oh, come on. See, that's what I mean with specialists. Like, yeah, they're, you know, I don't know. They're just, I don't, like, hate them. It's just every now and then you get kind of pissed off by them. Because, like, there was literally nothing I could do in that scenario. Like, I didn't, how, do, how would I know that that person's going to blow me up with their, their war machine, you know? Can I call another? You can call in two servers at a time? Is that the, how did I not know that before? <laughs> How did I not know that? Oh, dude, they're getting destroyed. They're gonna start leaving the lobby, aren't they? That'd be pretty sick if we could get 50 kills. Oh no, not the reloading. <laughs> I'm at 35. I need. I could. Uh, I could probably pull it off. Maybe. I don't know. Servers is so good. The streaks in this game in general are just so good. Easily some of the best streaks we've ever seen in COD history. Oh, that was my bad. Why are they camping in here? <laughs> There's a guy right... Oh. I'm gonna use this ICR for a little bit. Oh, I saw that guy last second. For some reason, I thought it was part of the map debris. Like, <laughs> my eyes just did not read it as a person. It does feel good shutting down someone who's using a specialist, though. Oh! <laughs> I was gonna get out there and try to snipe someone, but yep, that did not go to plan. Okay, I didn't get 50 kills. I'm literally three kills away, though, but whatever. I was gonna just play one game and call it a day, but I was like, nah, you know, we gotta we gotta do more Black Ops 3. We gotta do this game as as much of justice as we possibly can. I, I wanna I wanna do that again, so let's let's go ahead. And let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use the HVK here. This game's just too good, man. Like, it's hard not to play as much of it as humanly possible, and it's just so freaking good. It's easily the multiplayer I've played the most, which surprises some people, because it's obviously not, you know, it's it's not that old of a Call of Duty. So you'd think maybe one of the older Call of Duties I would have played more, but nope. No! Oh, what? All right, whatever. Damn it. No, where the fuck did he come from? Should I try to run out here? Whoa. What the hell is happening? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Oh no! <laughs> that would have been so cool. My teammate got wraps. That's gonna be stealing all the kills, isn't it? Dude, spawn switch so fast in this game because of how fast paced it is. Oof. What? I don't even know where they were to be honest. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, now we're on to easily the most underrated Call of Duty of all time. And that is of course Infinite Warfare. Literally all the hate for this game was just ridiculous. I never understood most of it, to be honest. It's just a lot of people just, I don't know, they just didn't want futuristic stuff, I guess. I, I don't know, even though a lot of those same people loved Black Ops 3. Nice. No! Oh! Damn! No, that came way too fast. My UAV was so delayed, so I could barely see when they were coming. All right, hopefully we can get some good streaks on Frontier, because Frontier is probably one of the better maps in this game, I would say. Holy shit, did you see all those guys? Oof. Oof. They all know I'm back here, though, so I got to be extra careful. Holy shit. No! Why were they all spawning back there? I don't understand. <laughs> this E-Rat is incredible though. If you haven't realized, I quite literally only run the supply drop variants now. I mean, not the supply drop variants, I mean the, uh, the nuke variants. I quite literally only run those because you never know when you're going to go on a streak. Of course, you're going to want to get a nuke. Oh, there was a sniper over there. I'm going to try to avoid that as best as I can. Maybe go this way instead. Oh, come on. And there's another sniper. Are you fucking kidding me? I hate going up against good snipers. Now, if they're bad, it's no problem. But when they're good, it's just a pain in the ass. Nice. Get me out of there, bro. Holy shit. Get me out of there. <laughs> this map is so much fun, bro. This is literally the most fun map in the game. It's just nonstop insanity. All right, we're going to try to go back up there. Oh no, that's a death sentence. Oh no, the game's gonna end soon. I'm having a good time though. Let's snipe a little bit. I wanna hit one shot, come on. Nice. Nice! Come on, one more hit, one more hit, come on. One more hit. No. <laughs> that was fun though. I just, I love this game. It's just, I don't know. This is such a good Call of Duty. Like, I could never not have a good time playing Infinite Warfare. Even Zombies is amazing. Campaign is a masterpiece. It's all around one of the best Call of Duties of all time. Going down that middle area is a straight up death sentence, but like, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Nice. Okay, going on the outskirts on this map is the way to go. Like, trying to go down that middle is just, like I said, a death sentence. Unless you get a really good route, like, no, fuck that. They're definitely gonna come around this way, right? They should be working the way around here. Oh my god, they're all up here. Bro, fuck that. UFO, UAV, UAV. 
Got that advanced UAV. Nice, nice. That's what we like to see. Pick up some ammo. Please give me ammo. No! I didn't I picked it up. Uh, fuck! Okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's use this. I was gonna try to go for the nuke, but you know. Apparently either I'm not using scavenger or I just physically could not find what I needed. This streak is so much fun, by the way. This is probably the best streak in this game. Well, it is the highest streak, so that makes sense. But it's one of the funnest streaks in Call of Duty history. Look at this. Look at this. Look how fucking cool this is. You can't tell me this is one of the not one of the best streaks ever uh, in one of the best Call of Duties ever. I mean, come on. Like, look at this. This is incredible. This is the coolest thing ever. It's literally laser beams coming out of this thing. Literally laser beams. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Oh, this is so cool. They need to bring something like this back. This is what we're missing in these new Call of Duties with, with no futuristic stuff anymore. This is the type of fun stuff we're missing. That was amazing. I think I got like at least almost 12 kills with that. All right, we are now on to Call of Duty World War II, which I'm really excited to play because I actually think this is quite an underrated Call of Duty. I don't think it's amazing or anything, but I do think it's underrated. Oh, nice headshot there. Oh boy. I never understood all the hate for this map. People really used to hate on this map, especially when it came back into Vanguard. People were furious, but I always thought it was just okay. I didn't think it's bad or anything. I didn't think it was, didn't think it was great either. What? Oh, that is some bullshit. The way that guy just sniped me. I literally put like four shots into him and he just said, nope. Nope. I'm not dealing with that sniper no more. Fuck that. Snipers in this game are kind of terrifying, I'll be honest. Oh, I didn't know that. That's actually a little cool feature out there. The boat kind of driving by. Oh, God. Get me out of here. No, someone's going to snipe me. No, I knew it. Fuck. Dude, I hate that shit. <laughs> That's why I like advanced movement. I could have just boosted out of there. I would have been fine. I'm getting shot up right now, man. Someone's going to be spawning back here, aren't they? Yep. Oh god, I'm out of fucking ammo. What the fuck am I supposed to do when I run out of ammo? Let's reload this. At least we have full ammo on it. Yeah, I mean, I, what was I going to expect there? I wasted so much ammo. What? See, that's why I hate the class system in this game, because you're you're forced to have equipment on every class, and so people spam the living shit out of grenades in this game. And we weren't used to it, because the past couple of CODs before this had pick 10, so there wasn't nearly as many grenades being spammed in those games. But holy shit, this game, it's just Grenade Haven. try to go up behind them. Oh god. Recon flight concluded. Artillery ready for orders. Waiting coordinates. Holy shit. I don't know where to put this. Ah! No! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Alright, well, 
Our paratroopers got called in. They're probably gonna get maybe a couple kills before the game ends. Oh yeah, they just they just sweeped. They sweeped house. Holy shit. All right, we are now on Black Ops 4, another incredibly underrated Call of Duty game. I honestly think this might be, it's probably my top three Call of Duty games, I wanna say. Maybe uh, some, somewhere around there. It's de definitely at least top five, for sure. It's one of the most skill-based multiplayer experiences we've ever had through and through. Like, if you're good, you're gonna do good. You know what I mean? You don't get a lot of bullshit deaths. Except for when it comes to specialists, though. Specialists, those were bullshit. But for the most part, I just, I don't know, I think it was just a really solid and well put together Call of Duty game. Oh, damn. I know damn well someone's gonna come around here. Yep. Oh, fuck that. Nice. I don't know where to go, man. Fuck that. Get the hell out of there. Oof. Calling that sniper's nest, man. Holy shit. I don't want to go that way. Actually, mm, I'm just worried about them spawning on A. Let me go through this way. And there's a guy literally right up here. No, fuck that. Never mind. Nice. Okay, we're good. Dude, this is intense, man. <laughs> I love BO4, man. It's just, it's such a good multiplayer game. Literally the only issues, same thing as Black Ops 3. It's, it's literally the same thing. It's the specialists and the supply drop system. It's, you know, wasn't very fair. But literally everything else about this multiplayer is perfect. I, I just, I don't know. There's not much to complain about. It really isn't. And no, even the supply drop system, it was bad for a few months, but it honestly is not bad at all anymore. It's a pretty solid system today. It was just bad during its life cycle for a couple months when they decided to lock guns behind supply drops again. Calling this. I love Crash, dude. Crash is easily the best specialist. Oh, come on. <laughs> Uh, Crash is easily the best specialist in this game. Let's call in our gunship now. One of the best gunships in COD history, by the way. Nobody will say that, though. They always talk about the Modern Warfare 2, AC-130, and, you know, Modern Warfare 3, which, those are great, don't get me wrong, but, I mean, this one is just so freaking powerful. You feel it, too. Like, you feel how powerful it is. They're taking Charlie now? Well, not anymore. <laughs> oh, this is too much fun, man. This is too much fun. <laughs> what are we right now? 29 and 2. Yeah, we didn't get too many kills there just because, you know, this map's very indoorsy. By the way, this Damien, one of my favorite guns in COD history. Easily. Nice. Nice. Down. Got him. Nope. Oh, I didn't realize we were playing Deathmatch Domination. I totally forgot I clicked Deathmatch Domination. So it's basically like a mix between Team Deathmatch and Domination, kind of. I think the round's about to end, so... I won't call in my streaks just yet. Let me fall back. Nice. What kind of streak are we on right now? Oh! <laughs> that could have been death for us. 43 and 3 at halftime, bro! Holy shit, this is insane. We're on a Ruthless. What is a Ruthless? And we got a third gunship. I, mean, I know I didn't get to use the other gunship, but still, holy shit. Let's not fall off this map. I want to get a nuclear medal. I forget what a Ruthless is. How many kills is that, though? Oh, no. Oh, that was unfortunate. Whatever.
Dude, this is insane, man. This is easily the my best Call of Duty, though, I would say. Like, out of any COD game, this is the one I perform best in. I think my Katie's the highest as well. I just, I love the time to kill because I feel co so confident in every gunfight. Like, I feel like I could run around and I know I'm going to get, I know I'm going to be all right, you know? It's calling that gunship again. I think it was the fourth gunship I've earned this game. It's not going to do good for me, though. I might as well not use it because they're all inside. Oh, wait. No, they're back there. Holy shit. All right, let's stop using it. No, no, no. What are you doing? Stop throwing a snowball, you dumbass. I hate when you click an emote because you have to listen to the freaking emote. 70 and 4? Wow. Okay, that was that was amazing. So I was going to move on to Mono for 2019, but I could not resist playing a Nuketown on Deathmatch Domination because this mode is just this mode is just too fun. Like, this is one of the most enjoyable modes I've ever played in COD history. And I was like, all right, we're going to sweat with the VMP on Nuketown just to have some fun, man. I know it's going to be quite sweaty, but... Screw it, we're gonna do it. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? I honestly, like, as much as the VMP is probably the best gun in the game, it's, I don't, it's, like, it's not my favorite gun. Like, I still prefer using a lot of other guns over it. I prefer the Cordite, I prefer the Damien. I might even prefer the Sog. I prefer a couple of the ARs as well, like the KN. I honestly just don't enjoy using this gun that much, but like, objectively, yeah, it is probably the best gun in the game. I think my issue with it is it just runs out of ammo kind of fast. And not much ammo on the mag either, even with extended mag. I know it's 50. I know it seems like a lot, but it runs out fast. It's probably because this gun shoots so fast. Oh, damn. Fall back. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just reload, reload, reload. Or, I mean, heal. Heal. Calling that UAV. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on, peek your head, you motherfucker! No! <laughs> you gotta be shitting me, man. Okay, I prefer this side, to be honest, so this is actually good. Oh no, they have a little puppy. I gotta fall back. Whoa, where's that other guy coming from? How would we- I, He hunted my ass down! Okay, I'm really trying to play this smart. While also playing aggressive. Aggressively smart is what I like to call it. Yeah, um... What?! Okay, I was behind the corner. I mean, you, um, what happens every Call of Duty? I, it's just like a thing, I don't know. Enemy took me. Someone's gonna walk right in. Knew it. Oh, yeah, I'm about to run into a guy with a knife. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Let's run into this guy with this freaking big ass knife. Holy shit, this guy right here. Damn, bop down! All right, game's gonna end soon, so I'll just call it here. This was a good time, though. BO4 is just such a damn good Call of Duty, man. Can never get enough of it. Hold on, actually. Let me take out these two guys up here real quick. Oh, no, the game ended. All right, whatever. Oh, no, we got a game on the map. Oh, no, not this map. <laughs> Arguably one of the worst maps in Call of Duty history. And we are on, of course, Piccadilly. I'm on over 2019. I'm just, I'm not looking forward to this. I mean, this game in general, I'm not looking forward to, but this map, especially not looking forward to it. Damn. 
Nice. This M4 is... No! Still one of the best guns in COD history. Oh, the game's gonna end. What are you... You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I was doing pretty good here and the game's about to end. Let's call on that UAV. And we'll stop at power rounds, because why the hell not? Tall jet, nice. Call that in right there. I don't know where these enemies are at, to be honest. They're not really showing up on the minimap, so. Oh, yeah, I wonder why they're not showing up on the minimap, actually. Maybe it's because uh, their gunshots don't show up on the damn minimap! Let's not complain about that issue any more than I already want to. It's still one of the worst design choices I've ever seen in a Call of Duty game. It just makes the game so much more camper heavy. Like, that's one of the main reasons this game is so full of campers. There's a lot of reasons for that, to be honest, but that's one of the main reasons. Nice. Oh, if they're gonna spawn, they might start spawning back here, because none of my teammates are around here, so... That kind of scares me a little bit. Alright, we're good. Actually, are we good? I don't know. <laughs> I see. I just don't know where they are, because we don't have a UAV, and if we don't have a UAV, there's gonna be no red dots. It's like, UAVs become so... I, I'm, I'm not gonna complain about it any more than I already want to. I just it, It's a really bad system. We all know this. I, th I think it's like common knowledge at this point. And this gunship's not very good compared to other gunships we've seen in COD. But let's hope I can get some kills with it at least. As long as there's people not inside, we should be able to get some kills. There we go. Yeah, honestly, this is one of those CODs that like I've had fun on. I definitely did have fun on it, but it's just, I don't know. It really quickly just started becoming a Call of Duty I didn't like that much. And then I always just went back to Black Ops 4, you know? Made a lot of good changes, though, obviously. This is the first COD where we had free DLC, crossplay. You know, it's definitely a really pretty game. The graphics are nice. I don't think the visuals are the best, but I think the graphics themselves, like, you know, are nice. The map sucked, though. That was one of the biggest issues. Time to kill sucked, like I said. There's just a lot of issues. Definitely a lot of issues. But, you know, I could see the appeal. I understand why the casual audience loves this game so much. I fully understand why. It makes perfect sense. The way the game is built, it definitely would work and be very popular for the casual audiences. I'm not, I'm not surprised about that at all. Nice. I do think the movement itself was decent in this game. The movement, not, not the ADS and the sprint out, those were terrible, but the movement itself, it did feel pretty good. It's definitely a really good feeling Call of Duty, like killing people and stuff like that. That's definitely a positive. I'll, I'll give the game that for sure. Oh, well, that was just a bad position. <laughs> the way I was mantling over those kind of fucked me up. This game is kind of nostalgic for me though, because it reminds me of freshman year of college and but that's when the pandemic happened, which obviously wasn't a great time, but, you know, we were all just kind of stuck inside playing this, and I, I, I like I said, I went back to Black Ops 4 most of the time, or I was playing Warzone or something, but, you know, I'm still, I'm still nostalgic for it, especially with the music and stuff. I used to actually like this map quite a bit, like, I thought it was the best map, or one of the best maps in this game, and, I, I mean, I still don't think it's, like, bad, but I, I definitely don't like it as much as I did when the game was first out. I was always like, you know what? This game has a lot of bad map. See, the, the fact that I laser beamed him from across the map with a freaking SMG is just not good. Like, that's just not good game design. I'm sorry. You should not be able to do that so easily. Like, that's a, that's a mixture of mounting just not being a good feature and the time to kill being too fast. It's just, it's just all around a problem. I have a suppressor on this gun too. Like, that's just not, that shouldn't be happening. This isn't even the best gun in the game. Like, but it's just, it's just ridiculous. Like, the fact that you can just lay, I just, it's just not good design, man. I'm telling you. It's just not a good design. I really should have um, not been camping there, to be honest. That was my bad. This MP7 is too good, though. Let's use this dead silence. No, 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 no. How, wait, what? Okay, wait, what? Okay, I don't know how I killed that one guy, and then I don't know how that person killed me. 
I'm telling you, these gunfights are always so inconsistent, man. They're inconsistent. Woo! Turned on that fool. Theoretically, I should be able to walk up behind these guys and kill them. Oh, but this guy's making it hard. Where the fuck is he? Oh, he's all the way up there. Oh, okay. I forgot you could camp up here. <laughs> There's a guy down here. And there's people at sea. What the fuck was that? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get C to be honest. I mean, we don't have score streaks right now, so I can care less about playing the objective if I'm gonna be honest. Oh, come on! <laughs> you gotta be shitting me! I open a fucking door and the guy's like, oh, he's there! Whoa. All right, you know, I'm not playing anymore. All right, let's go. I'm, I'm moving on to Cold War. And we are now on to Black Ops Cold War, which I'm really excited to play this. I might actually play a decent amount of this just because of how excited I am to play it. You know, I was excited until I realized this lobby's full of snipers. <laughs> now I'm not excited anymore because that all the things I don't like about this game, that's probably one of the main things I would say. There's, of course, the score streak system, which is not that great of a system. Like, they're just not fun to go up against. I think they're some of the most overpowered snipers we've ever seen in COD history. People will fight me on this to, to their T, though. They will tell me that they are terrible snipers, and I feel like the only people saying that are people who actually snipe themselves, and they just want to make it try to seem like they're a lot harder to use than they actually are, but trust me, they are not hard to use, man. But I don't like sniping. I don't, I don't have fun sniping, so I just don't do it. Like, it's just, you can't go up against snipers. I just don't want to do it, man. It's so frustrating. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Nope. Maybe not. But yeah, this game is incredibly underrated, though. Obviously, aside from the snipers being OP, it's it's a really solid Call of Duty game. Oh, bro! Oh, we're getting demolished right now. Why? What is, what is with me getting the worst teammates known to man? I mean, it's probably not even just my teammates. It's probably just literally just... The fact that we're going up against these insane, insanely good snipers. Well, the game's gonna end soon unless somebody hops on a the damn hard point. <sighs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you just gotta roll with it. Most of the time, I don't care. Like, I don't mind getting lobbies like this. It's just when you're trying to make a video and it's like, ah, oh, and I gotta deal with these guys. Nice. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, we just have to deal with it. There's gonna be snipers in every freaking lobby. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Oh boy. What? Nice. Oh, that was a great placement for my thing. Oh, I trade out the wrong gun. Shit. Oh, it's lagging. It's lagging. No! Why is it lagging? Is that like a hack or something? I don't know, because I feel like it's only when I come across certain enemies. Suddenly, like when I get in a gunfight, suddenly I'm just lagging. My internet's really good. I just upgraded my internet to the, probably the best internet you could possibly get. And as you can see, it's fine right now. It's only when I come across certain enemies. I'm not sure if that's like a hack or something, because if it is, that's kind of fucked up. Watch this. Ooh. Gotta jump up here. 
Someone's right in here. Nice. Don't kill me, please. Nice. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? Ah! Oh no, it's lagging over there. Nope, I'm not going over there. I'm telling you, that person makes it lag. No! Fuck you! <laughs> God damn it! I really wonder if that is a hack though. Let me know in the comments if that's like a hack or something. Because if it is, I mean, that's a shame. Because <laughs> someone's hacking. Unless it's, I don't know. I've never heard of that before, but I feel like it's definitely a thing. I'm lagging again. Why is that happening? Where are they spawning? Over here now. Holy shit. Oh no, lagging again. Whoa. Damn it. Oh, we were like so close to our gunship. Oh, we, we five score away from the gunship. We have to get it. Oh, we just need one more kill, obviously. Yeah, okay, there we go. Let's just call it in real quick. Fuck people up. Hopefully no one's got air patrol. Someone's definitely got air patrol, though. There's no way no one's got air patrol. I'm fully expecting someone to call in their air patrol. Holy shit. Give me the kills. Yes. Yes. Give me the kills. All the kills. Yes, please. No one's even killing me somehow. <laughs> Bro, how many kills am I getting with this right now? Oh my god, this might be the most kills I've ever gotten with this stamp. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm surprised no one used a, uh, you know what, on me. Holy shit. 77 and 11. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? That was insane. I, I don't even mind the little bit of lagging anymore, because holy shit. Man, I love this game. Like, I know I complained about it quite a bit in this video already with the snipers and obviously, obviously a lot of other problems too, but at the end of the day, it's a pretty solid COD game. I, I love a lot of that. The time to kill, you know, map design, that's all really good stuff. I'm very thankful we got at least one game on Apocalypse because this is easily one of the best maps in this game. I'd probably say out of the new maps, it's probably the top three, maybe top two. It's certainly one of the best maps in the game. Definitely one of the best looking maps as well. Nice. They're like all up here. Nice. Nice. Oh, God. Holy shit, this is intense. Whoa! Oh, just one more kill. Come on, one more kill. Yes! Oh, when you get to that 10th kill, it feels so good because you get that extra score. Call this in. Fuck, I couldn't find him! <laughs> he was behind the panels and shit. Okay, well, we're starting off this game really good. If we keep this up, we'll definitely get the gunship. I mean, obviously, with this score streak system, it's very easy to get your streaks. But when you're in a mode like, like, kill confirmed, it is a bit harder to get your streaks. I don't feel like it's as guaranteed to get streaks in a mode like this. In hardpoint and domination, yeah, it's pretty much guaranteed I'm going to get a gunship every game. But, you know, kill confirms not that fat or not that, not that long. So it's a lot harder. You actually have to get on some streaks. Nice. I love this bullfrog, by the way. This is a great gun. Bro, where is this guy? <laughs> Damn it. All right, we got the gunship anyways. I wanted to keep going on a streak, though. 
Let's call it in. This map's not as good for the gunship because it's a lot of trees and stuff, so it is going to be kind of harder to see. But whatever. It's better than nothing. Someone's shooting us down. Who's shooting us down? Who's doing it? Who's doing it? Who's doing it? Usually it's someone in the back of their spawn, so I just light up the spawn, hope for the best. Who's doing it? I don't see them. Oh, they're over here. And I'm lighting up this map. And this is kill confirmed we're playing right now, so I mean... How many kills do I have? 40, 50, almost 50 kills? 49 kills and kill confirmed. That's, that's pretty good. Obviously it's 12v12, so you know... <laughs> You expect to get more kills in a mode like this. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Holy shit, did you see that? I'm not even picking up tags because I want this game to go on longer, but... Holy shit, that was mayhem. I'm having a pretty good day on this damn game. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't gonna go with 60. 62 and 11, god damn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now on Vanguard, which I'm, I don't really know how to feel about this right now. <laughs> um, it took like five minutes to find a lobby somehow, which is a surprise, considering it's, it's not that old of a Call of Duty game. It literally came out like a year and a half ago and it took like longer to find the lobby in this game than any other Call of Duty, which is insane. A big part of that is the skill based matchmaking and then obviously low player counts. I mean, not many people are playing Vanguard. This is probably within one of the most hated Call of Duties of all time and it's one of the least selling Call of Duties of all time. So yeah, it, it makes sense why no one's playing this. But I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't think it's that bad, so I, I don't think it's good, obviously. I'm not like a huge fan of this game or anything, but I, I just don't think it's this abysmal trash that everyone makes it out to be. I really enjoyed playing the overclocked game mode, which essentially was just the same game, but with a slower time to kill. But unfortunately, that game mode just does not exist anymore. And even if it did, I mean, I probably wouldn't be able to find lobbies on it anyways. So I guess we're stuck playing the default version of this game, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Because I'd be a lot happy right now playing Overclocked, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Overclocked was so much fun. But I do like how this game feels. Like, I really don't think there's that many awful things about it. It's just the time to kill being really fast. The 10 attachments per gun thing is kind of stupid. Equipment was really annoying in this game. Like, all the fire pieces of equipment and such. It had kill streaks instead of score streaks. And there was no way of using score streaks whatsoever. But the movement was fantastic. Nobody talked about the movement in this game. You were really fast. Now, not the ADS and sprint out. Those were those were kind of slow. But just in terms of how fast you can move around the map, it was really fast. Nice. Nice. You gotta keep this up. Oh boy. That dude's gonna come right around here, isn't he? Nice, calling the dogs. This lobby is so slow. Kind of intense though. This is starting to get intense. Ah! Nope! Holy shit! No! Don't kill me, please! Holy shit!
Why is this lobby so intense? All I know is I'm on a nuke streak and I want to keep that shit going. What? All right, he was across the map. <laughs> Dude, I was on a really good streak there. We were going to get the nuke, man. We were going to get it, man. We were going to get it. I've gotten so many nukes in this game, but they're literally all in the overclocked mode. That's the thing. I don't have I got a nuke in regular. No, maybe I have. But like I've gotten at least 20 nukes at this point. They're just they're all in that same mode. Because that mode was just a lot more fun. That's all I played for a while. They're also easier to get if you're good at the game. So <laughs> this is genuinely a decent match. It's not a terrible map, but I was having fun. All right, we're playing Blitz on Dome. This should probably be absolutely insane. I am very much looking forward to seeing how this is going to play. Because we got our fun time on, you know, a regular size map. Now I was like, yeah, let's play some Blitz on smaller maps. That'll be fun. Which is actually a specific playlist. It's, I forget what it's called. Like, something Blitz. Small map Blitz, maybe? I don't know. We're already going on a little streak, though. That's good. It's probably not going to stick, though. Come on, man. Enemies are going to be spawning around me, aren't they? Yep. Nice. Oh god. They're spawning all around here. Shit, I hate how you can't shoot and slide at the same time. Am I the only one who thinks that's one of the stupidest things in Call of Duty? Like, let me shoot and slide. I, I don't see why not. I I'm pretty sure there's perks that do that maybe, but like... You should be able to do that by default. I don't give a shit. I don't care if it's unrealistic. I, I really don't. Let me shoot and slide at the same time, please. Holy shit! Oh, there's more, 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 more! More! Oh, I love getting feeds, man. They're so satisfying. It keeps happening! <laughs> I do like a semi-slide and then I just get fucked up because I can't shoot. Dude, I am going off. Oh. Oh, yes. Delicioso. But going for nukes on this map is probably not going to be an easy thing. Because, I mean, the time to kill is just too fast for that. Like, it, all it takes is one guy just poking me. Is that my fourth set of dogs? Gotta be, right? Oh god, they're right here. What? Why did I think I killed him? I thought I finished him, so I stopped shooting. <laughs> Why did I think I finished him? I do that so often, to be honest. Like, where I just stopped shooting because I think I already killed them. Whoa. This is one of my, this has gotta be my favorite guns in COD history. This thing is so good. Like, I don't know if it's the gun or if it's just the attachments. Like, it's, it might be some with the attachments because I don't think the gun by itself is this good. There's no way the gun by itself is this good. Wow. We get more dogs? Oh, oh my God. I'm so sorry, enemies. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We just keep getting back to back to back dogs. It's only because I keep dying. I can't get a nuke streak. So then I just keep earning kills again. And then I get the dogs. I'm telling you, Vanguard is fun at some points. Like, it, it, people really do underestimate how fun this COD could be. It's not great. Like, there's a lot of design issues with this game. I know. But, like, it's very easy to have fun on this game. I think people just don't really give it a chance. 
I think if more people gave this game a chance, they'd have a lot more fun. We're gonna get 100 kills though. We're pretty much guaranteed 100 kills. What the hell was that? Yeah, we're guaranteed 100. We already got 100 kills. 102 kills. Damn. I mean, it's pretty easy, honestly, on like a map like this. And we're playing hardpoint. I mean, it's just kind of destined to happen at that point. But it's still fun regardless. Whoa. Pick up a gun. Ooh, that guy spawned right there. What the hell? Oh. Come on, let's get dogs again. My teammates are getting a lot of dogs too. Actually, I don't want to call them in just yet. I feel like I should probably just call in the dogs. Fuck it. They'll give me more support. Oh, come on, man. Are we keep getting so close. 127 kills. I can't- I don't know what the most kills I've gotten in a single game of COD was. I honestly don't- it's probably somewhere around the 200s. I can't remember which game it was, or which mode. Because obviously the mode's more important. There's modes you can easily get this amount of kills in. Like No Limit Shipment, I think is one of the modes, something like that. Like that one, you can easily drop like 300 kills in a game just fine. Where are the enemies? I want more kills! 145 kills? <laughs> Holy shit! That is insane! I'm using the same gun just because it's so damn good. I could do some crazy shit right now if I flank. But it's really risky, considering they're still spawning back there. Fuck it, we're doing it. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. Oh, they already killed all of them. Oh, no. Now I'm going to go face to face with them. Oh, no. Oh, they're spawning back here. Okay. Just look how fast you run across the map. Like, it's just so good. And I don't think I have any perks that make me run faster. Unless I do, and I'm just stupid and don't realize it. I'm gonna try to do the long flank. Whoa! Get behind cover. Fuck it. Those guys way down there, but... Whoa! Whoa. What?! Was he shooting through the walls? He must have been shooting through the walls, right? Yeah, he was shooting through the walls, okay. Dude, patrol's actually a really fun mode. There's a lot of cool game modes in this game that like nobody talks about. It is a shame that this COD is labeled as the worst COD ever. Like, I don't think it's that bad. I have a lot of issues with it, but I don't know. It's more fun than Modern Warfare 2019, that's for sure. I would argue it's also more fun than Modern Warfare, the newest one, Modern Warfare 2. Oh, I gotta rush this guy. Nice. Wait, what? The enemy got that? Okay, I guess there's a decent enemy on the other team. I didn't think there was, to be honest. Let me use these dual-wield pistols. <laughs> Those are kind of fun. Let me switch to BP-50. This gun's fun as hell, too. Does it belong in this game? Not really, but I don't, I don't give a shit. It's fun. Oh, this takes too long to reload, actually. I don't know if it's gonna be good anymore. This guy just shooting through the walls? What the hell? Nice. I'm kind of stuck here though now. I don't know what to do. No! Morning. 
Bro, what is fucking happening right now? This is straight up chaos. Holy shit. Ah, damn. Whatever, we got dogs. Oh, damn. Give me that Vargo. Give me the Vargo. Literally anything. Never mind. <laughs> God damn, this is fun. I'm sorry, I'm having a good time. I'm sorry. Damn, I'm just lighting up people with this fucking gun. I love picking up random guns and just seeing what people make out of their guns. It makes some interesting things sometimes. Oh, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh. Oh. Holy fuck. Fucking shit! <laughs> Why is this so much fun right now? Oh, come on! I, yeah, I probably should have ADS before going around the corner there. We're at 70 kills again? Oh my god. I should have played this game more, to be honest. I really should have. I feel like this was... It was one I had a lot of issues with, and I kind of just... I don't know. I, I really don't think it's that bad, though. So honestly, a lot of this game, it does, ex it does make me g get more excited for what Sledgehammer is going to do with Modern Warfare 3. Nice. Let's do a takedown. Yes! I barely get to do these, so there's so much fun when I do get to do them. Oh, 91 kills. Holy shit. Oh. My. God. <laughs> and then of course they spawn behind me. Whoa. The spawns on Das house are awful. The amount of quad feeds I've been getting is just insane. This is probably the easiest COD to get quad feeds in, I'll be honest, because a mix of small maps plus the time to kill plus blitz mode, like, you're just, you're having a field day with feeds in this game. Which I honestly don't prefer that. Like, I prefer being harder to get feeds. Like, feeds in Cold War are really satisfying because they're really hard to get, but in this game, they're, like, the easiest thing ever. Oh, I can't even call that in. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. Holy shit. Honestly, this map is so tiny that, like, Advanced UAV does not even help. It literally does not even help. Oh, my God. Because, yeah, like, before you can even look at it, someone's already on your ass anyways. I do not know this map. This is called Fortress. I've probably played this map a total of three times. Maybe maybe less than that, actually. So this is going to be real fun. I have no idea what the hell to do. I, yeah, I don't know where to go. I don't know. I don't know this map. Nice. Oh, what? Damn, that reloading took so long. What the hell? Why is that guy sitting there? Bro, he keeps running back and forth. Nice, got my dogs. Right, so now they're over there. 
Enemy glide bomb, no! Oh, this is tough. I'm so fucked. <laughs> Damn, that's tough. Damn, I'm actually really liking this map. Nice. 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 God damn, this is intense. Someone get a UAV, please. Yeah, I don't know where the enemies are at. Damn it! Holy shit. Every time we get close to a nuke, we just fail. 66 kills. And this is regular hardpoint. This ain't no... Blitz, whatever. I know this is Blitz. Is this, no, this is regular hardpoint. I mean, the average game of Vanguard is... You get a lot of kills, man. I'm telling you, this game is a lot better than people give it credit for. It really is. Okay, we are finally on Modern Warfare 2. I, I, I can't wait to be done with this, even though it was really fun. Going back to all the old Call of Duties, I, I do want to actually get this video out there. And I'm not looking forward to playing this, to be honest. I, I feel like the, the most recent COD is always, like, the one people just don't enjoy playing. And I would kind of be in that boat. And if you're wondering why I'm using the Homelander skin right now, why did I waste my money on this, even though I said multiple times I was never going to do it? Well, literally Activision announced, what, like yesterday? That all of your skins and blueprints and stuff from this game is actually going to carry over to the next Call of Duty. And so I said to myself, you know what, fuck it. I'm probably going to like that game at least a little bit more than this. So why not? The Homelander skin looked really cool. I wanted to get it. So let me spend the money, my money the way I want to. But, you know, I know people are going to question it because I don't really play this game that much. And I clearly don't like it that much. And this map, uh, not really crazy about it, to be honest. I don't think it's a bad map, but it's just, I mean, it's not really great either. I'm using the M4 here. Which I did get. Oh, come on, Starlight. <laughs> which, of course, was one of the blueprints from the Homelander bundle. I changed around some of the attachments, though, because I didn't really like exactly what the gun was. Actually, I'll be honest. Even the attachments on this one, like, I just didn't really like them too much to begin with. But I just couldn't change all of them. Like the barrel, for example. I don't really want to use this barrel that's on this gun, but I have to because if I take it off, it's going to make the gun look not nearly as cool as it does with the barrel. Which is why I really wonder why they can't come up with a system. Oh shit, oh shit. I really wonder why they can't come up with a system where you could use whatever attachments you want with whatever look you want. You know what I mean? I don't really understand why they can't do that. Like, make it so... You know, you could set your different attachment abilities, but you can make it look however you want. So the way the gun looks, it does it's just whatever you want. You know, you don't have to worry about making sure it fits, you know, with the skin. It's just, I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about if you've, you know, if you play this game, you know what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, it appears the minimap is still a bit glitched. You guys don't know what glitch I'm talking about. Um... Look at the look at the UAV. Half the time, people are just frequently on the minimap. They're not supposed to be though. I'm gonna call that in and run the fuck away. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Really? Ah, eh, whatever. Like I should be able to make this gun however I want it to be in terms of the attachments, while still keeping the exact look it has to begin with. You know? And I I, mean, I guess they don't do it because of realism, which is such a stupid argument. But I'm I'm assuming that's why they do it. Because obviously it wouldn't be realistic to have whatever abilities you want, regardless of the attachment. And I guess it does help from a visual perspective, like you can kind of tell what the gun might feel like based on how it looks. Like I get all that, but it just kind of sucks because I want this gun to look the way I want it to, but I also want it to be exactly the way I want it to in terms of how powerful it is and how good of a gun it is. 
and usually they're good at that. Usually the bundles have like really good attachments, but sometimes it's just not the attachments I want. Like it's not even about the attachments being good. It's just it's just the way it's built is not for me. That wasn't a problem in Cold War to be honest, because I felt like most attachments you could work with. But in this game, no. There's so many different attachments that just make the gun so awful. And it's just not good anymore. Or it's not even it makes the gun bad, it's more so it makes the gun slow. That's what this game has a big problem with, it's just the guns being a lot slower. Slow ADS, slow sprint out, all that stuff. I really am curious to see how this game's gonna age over time though. I feel like it's gonna age the same as Mono for 2019 where, you know, I just kinda like feel indifferent about it over time. I don't think it's ever gonna be like Vanguard where I ended up really liking it the next year. I just don't see that happening. Especially with this next Call of Duty, apparently, you know, Mono for 3, it's supposed to be very similar to this game, but with better mechanics. If it's literally this game, but with better mechanics, I'm gonna have no reason to ever go back to this. Like, at least Mono for 2019 is its own game. You know, it is different than this Call of Duty. So there is a purpose to going back to it, but like, if this next game just feels the exact same, but better, like, why would I ever play this again? I'm very glad they brought back score streaks in this game without needing to use a perk. Now the only issue is, of course, the fact that you could still use killstreaks, so you're still gonna have that problem of people camping and not playing the objective because killstreaks are the default. And not a lot of people even know you can change it to score streaks, which is the funny part. He's even got a little Homelander face on this gun, that's kinda cool. But now we're playing on the new map, uh, I just decided why not we'll play the 24-7 playlist for this new map, because I actually kinda liked it when I played this map. I don't know how well it's gonna play this game, but I don't know, when I, the first time I played it, I enjoyed it. Oh, now we got the UAV glitch going. Run! I might call that VTOL in actually. Just so we can blow up this side of the map. Oh, they're coming this way. Did that not get a single kill? Are you kidding me? I, I actually really like the water on this map. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this is a really good map. Whoa, I heard someone. I really wish you could loop streaks, man. Like, I should be able to keep earning streaks right now, but nope. No can do, according to this game. Oh god, why'd I jump into the water? Go under here. Nice. Nice! Ah! I would like to call on the gunship, but I would like to not die first. We're on like a 17 right now. Or 16 maybe? I don't actually know. Oh god. Oh! Oh! My hands are fucking sweaty right now. Oh god. Why did I go this way? Oh my god. What? Oh, he was just- I should- You know, honestly, I blame myself. Why did I think it was a good idea to go out in the open like that? <laughs> that was just a terrible idea. I should have been keeping to the close quarters situations. I had a P90, man. A P90. And I thought it was a good idea to run out in the open. Yeah, that was real smart of me. I wasn't that out in the open, but I mean like that side of the map where it's way more open. I could have easily got a nuke there. That could have been a nuke. This gunship is just not, like I said with Mono for 2019, they're just not very good in these Infinity War games. Which is a shame because like Infinity, Infinity Warfare had really good streaks. So clearly Infinity Ward believes in good streaks. They just decided not to have them for this game for some reason. Obviously it's not awful, like it's still going to get some kills, but just not as many kills as it should get. Noise. All right, so I mean, we're getting towards the end of the video now. Basically, the moral of the story is that I think every COD has something to offer. Like, even if there's a lot of CODs I really don't enjoy, I do think they all have something to offer. Or, oh, I'm going off right now. Holy shit. I think they all have something to offer. Even the ones that, you know, we all kind of hate, you know? 
I, that's why I really love COD. Like, I play them all because they're all fun to me. I don't think there's a single one that I've just never had a decent experience on. Even my least favorite Call of Duties, I've had good times on them before. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I'm definitely open to it. Now that every Call of Duty is actually, like, you can get a lobby in all the Call of Duties now, it's something I'm definitely open to doing more videos of. Just let me know what types of things you'd like me to do. Obviously, this time it was just playing every Call of Duty, but, you know, in the future I could do, you know, doing something specific in every Call of Duty, maybe, like, sniping in every Call of Duty, which that would be just absolutely, uh, that would be a tragedy because I'm really bad at sniping. But, I don't know, it'd be kind of interesting. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I'm really bad at sniping. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Peace out.